When it's last 30 seconds of a championship fight, you can't chill. You can go to sleep after, you can be tired after, but you don't listen to your body when there's 30 seconds left. You're not tired, you push if you want to win. You have to train that now. It doesn't magically show up in the ring when you fight. I've seen it, I've seen my fighters. 30 seconds and they're chilling. The other guy comes to life, that, 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 and steals the fight. On 10 seconds, just 10 seconds flurry. You have to want it, you have to be hungry. You have to bring that hunger here in your training and train it and foster it and build it. Then it will be there when you fight. I'm the only son in my family of four children. My father's an immigrant. He came here from Pakistan many years ago. And um, just seeing that I was sort of a sensitive, quiet, shy, and timid child, he was a little bit worried that maybe I'd grow up and uh, fall into bullying. So he sought out martial arts for me. And the first martial art I started with was Taekwondo. His intention was really to find an art for me that would help me with my confidence and my self-defense abilities. Uh, I stuck with it for over eight years, and then I felt maybe it was time to try something a little bit different. I began fighting full contact Muay Thai when I was 14 years old. I accumulated over the next 15 years or so 44 fights. I feel it just really became a part of me. I couldn't have imagined my life or my childhood without it. Over the years of competition, I really felt that I became somewhat of a role model to some of the younger athletes in the gym, and even the non-athletes, just, just people that I knew in the small city that I grew up in. Within the gym, I became one of the more senior students and took some of the other students under my, my wing, and I think that was sort of what, what spawned my inclination towards coaching. I was really inspired by the feeling of wanting to share the transformation that I had gone through through martial arts and give that back to all the other young athletes, men, women, older people, children, and just make people believe that if they really work hard and have a strong sense of discipline and focus and regiment, that they can actually achieve anything they want in life. The word warrior was chosen to represent all of these individuals who come into the center and are looking for something more who are hoping to transform into something bigger, a better version of themselves. Technically speaking, we offer classes and programs for every demographic. What we're capable of doing is training athletes to the highest level of competition. Whether or not someone wants to go there, it really doesn't matter. At the end of the day, when they come to this gym, they are a warrior. And it's all about that spirit. And that's really the machine at the heart of this gym that keeps turning and keeps everybody going. Warrior of the Month is Olivia. It's really the feedback that I receive from the parents, from the students, sometimes weeks into their training, sometimes after their first class, and sometimes not for many years after they've been here competing and training, of how transformative it's been for them, uh, what a positive experience and force it's been in their life, how it's saved their life. There's individuals who have been suicidal, and I didn't know that. There are individuals who have suffered with some very severe personal addictions that I didn't know about. And it wasn't until they overcame that where they came forth and said, Zubair, this gym's really saved my life. I can't imagine my life without it. And that's the biggest reward for me and the biggest motivator. And what I lie down at night and think about is how I can continue to impact these people's lives and continue to provide a better and better experience for everyone that's going to come to this gym.